like it's routine. I just it's theft. You know, uh, I had I had seven Rolexes in the bag. I had my Jesus chain, my Bible chain. I had I had all my jewelry. For those of you who don't know, this came out today after I had a long day. And these are also the types of things I have to live with that you people don't. And I leave comments. Please check this video. Make sure the comments are there. Um, I commented the same day. This video is the 13th. It's 8:19. Um, this video already has 40,000 views, but since it's boosty, it's about to get a whole bunch more. So yes, you know, they robbed him of his Jesus chain, okay? My Afro-Asiatic gospel. The white man is telling the black man, stop throwing each other bones on the law. And they expect us to take it, you know? And I don't care if the Jews are telling them to do it or not, okay? I don't care if the fucking devil himself told you to do it and he has your family hostage. You don't do that. Man, now, they end up arresting members of your entourage. Right. And why? Were they being fumed by the white man's chemicals? Imagine being fumed by his chemicals every day, brothers. And for what? Because they had a fight with him outside when he kept spraying. So they kept spraying, knowing damn well from years of experience with rioters and protesters and everything from violent to nonviolent people, you know, that it provokes black people. And they put that thing on my wall. I mean, come on, do I really have to explain to you people why you need to get my story out? And why me being the top martial artist is more significant than even a respected rapper like this being harassed? Come on, come on. So he's outside and he's constantly spraying them. They get sick of the spraying and- They uh, defend this And go at him. Yeah. So what is interesting here is that, uh, first of all, what has been the reaction from the mall, the mall owners. Uh, deny, basically, right? right now we we were subpoenaing all the camera footage. Okay. Uh, but my friction came on. He's saying that everything he's going through is pretty much almost exactly like what I'm going through, um, in a way. Okay. Similar tactics, similar response from the community, the mayor, and everything. And he's a celebrity. Uh. The mayor, the, the the people, they don't want to talk about it because they're saying it's a criminal investigation. Uh, but everybody we're going through, either they're cutting us off or they're or, or they're, or they're lying. So you see how they do us, you know. And this is a whole group of black people. Imagine being singled out in Morgan Hill by the Santa Clara County Sheriff's Department, mental health services, and every racist fucking LGBT person trying to force the white man's Greek version of homosexuality on the youth that he touched on. Remember he talked about how they're trying to influence the kids? This is about the white gays and the white power structure no longer sticking up for Bootsy for putting him on blast and saying, hey, you're going to do it our way and be controlled. And Bootsy being a real nigger with that real nigger look in his eyes like I have. I pulled up uh, a few press reporting that Biloxi Police Department completely denies that was any jewelry that uh, that was on uh, the bus, anything that was taken. Now this is very soon. Remember, my my family got ripped off for Kaiser by two million for two million dollars. Okay, Kaiser has mental health services. Right, right. They they're completely denying nothing was on the bus. Uh, I have. So you you think America's fair? You know, like we're supposed to just keep letting you control our reproduction, take our finest women, you know, create a bunch of you know half white women, him. Huh? From rich white guys fucking our finest women to to make them feel like, oh, look, look, it goes like this. When it comes to minorities, they empower women so they can pillow talk to them and feel like, hey, I'm putting this bitch in her place. Don't you do it again. Sexual sadism, all that. You know, read a book, man. These people are sick and they are torturing black people. And it is dishonorable to take my rightful place when it is one of the things we need to do to free ourselves from these demons. And no, you offering me another way is not going to work. Because you are a satanic, Freemasonic, sell out every black person, every chance you get type of bitch. There will be no deals. The people who are the wolf, pointing at me saying I'm the wolf all my life, can't wait till I have the upper hand and turn around and say, hey, what about if we do this? No, fuck off. Ebos do not deal with the devil. Look, let's straighten the record right now. When you're a real nigga who is being cheated by the white man, Okay, this is how you act when you're feeling down about it. It makes me, it makes me, uh, it makes me upset, man. Not only Especially when you know, like, too. I had a sold out concert like at that. the Coliseum. I, I made a lot of money for that city. 
that that day, you know, that day, you know, like, and for them to be so like, like, you can you control those people outside with that, you know, like, you don't come spray me. And I just feel like it, it had a lot to do with racism. You been mates before? Yeah, they're just fucking, they're abusing law enforcement, they're abusing psychiatry, they're abusing those chemicals. Yeah, I've been mates before. Yeah, and it's not a good feeling. Yeah, so you know, makes you want to beat the dog. It gets crap. worse and worse, and when you try to put water on it, like it's crazy. And I just feel like it had, it had a lot to do with racism. I just feel like if that was a different singer or something like that, you would have bagged that crowd up. You you wouldn't attack me. Yeah, they you don't give us our you, credit, man. I'm it, sick of this shit. Stuff. Give us our place. And he was just out of line. And it's corruption. Our places. Man. It's corruption. It's corruption, dude. I'm fucking sick of it, dude. I'm fucking sick of it.